yes, it finally happened. My presets are now live. The presets that I created over the last years are now live on my website. If you would like to support your boy a little bit here and get something cool, you should definitely check them out. Link in the description below. Before we start with this, for anyone that decides to pick up these presets, thank you, thank you so much. It means a lot to me if people use my stuff and if I can actually make a little bit from this, but it's so nice to have a community like this here on YouTube and if you'd like to support me a little bit and get the similar photo style or similar look you can definitely check them out. It would be awesome if you could give my website a quick view that I just released. I'm very proud of it and I think it looks great. You can check it out if you want. All my work is on there and some other stuff and the presets. But let's review my presets now. This preset is dedicated to this old vintage camera, so let's try it out, let's set the EA1. Total different look again, we got three presets now and three different looks. This is more a vintage look now, as you can see the orange stones in the highlights, and as you saw we tried three of the presets on this photo. They all look different and they all go in a different editing direction. I didn't want to make the same preset over and over again. I wanted to make them a bit different, so now we had the moody green tones. Let's maybe try with this photo. This is a winter photo, a snow photo. Um, this is the photo as it came out of the camera, so let's maybe try snowy dream. Yes, it looks pretty good, it's a bit overexposed, so let's bring it slightly down. But if we look at the before and after, as the name already says, snowy dream, it gives a snowy look. But for winter photos, I would say this preset would do the job and make the photo look way better with just one click. As you've seen now, the presets are quite dramatic, so here's a bit more a soft preset. If we go to Tent Night and apply that, Tent Night makes the photo a bit more soft and it gives the photo kind of a vintage look too, but it makes it a bit more soft. I think I've been very creative with the names. I didn't just want to say Hannes Engel preset 1, 2, 3. They are all called after a feeling or something that I experienced that has to do with the style or with the kind of colors. So I have a preset called Campfire and here we have the perfect photo to show the preset. This is the, this is the raw photo of me sitting in front of a campfire. So let's apply the campfire preset. As you can see it does to the photo what I wanted to do. I want to highlight the campfire and me and the orange stones. So yes, that's the campfire preset made for campfires, but also just similar tones in general, right? I often feel like people expect from presets that they do magic things. They really work but you should have a great photo or at least a good photo, right? If you just have a shitty, shitty photo underexposed, you apply a preset and it doesn't work that good. I mean, how should it work if the photo is shitty? So let's try this photo here. Um, photo taking the Dolomite, so it should work. So I haven't showed the dark of green yet. Let's try that. This gives a very, very dramatic look, but I like it. I would maybe bring the exposure up a little bit, but as you can see, very dramatic look. Um, if you compare it to the before and after, but that's what I'm normally going for, a very dramatic look and, and that's why the presets also do that. Then one more photo, we have this photo of this mountain here and I'm going to use um, forest fire to edit this, so let's apply forest fire. It's slightly underexposed, but that's very easy to fix. Just bring this up for a little bit and yeah. That's already it, that's how I would edit the photo. It looks way better than before and that's the editing process already. Then one more photo, this photo of this river here and a lot of green tones. For this photo I'm going to use morning fog. Um, as you can see here's the fog, but if I apply morning fog, um, it's slightly underexposed, but I bring it up and you really get this look that a lot of people go for nowadays, this very moody green look and foggy look. If you like the kind of look, as you've seen, a lot of these presets are made for that kind of look. But also presets like the EA1 or Tent Night are made to give you a more soft look and a more like not so dramatic look. So there are different presets for different scenarios and you can just download them and check them out. That was it. That was how I normally edit my photos in Lightroom. I just apply the preset and then I tweak the exposure a little bit, maybe the color temperature. Then I export and upload on Instagram, but as you can see, presets make the job easy. They help you to get a very cool look in seconds and that's why I'm a big fan of presets. I also bought several presets in the past of other creators, but I like that kind of stuff. I just think it's a cool thing to do that people can share 
their style somehow. I can somehow share my editing style with you and I think that's great. So if you decide to pick up my presets, I'm very thankful and I would love to hear from you what you think about them. Maybe tag me in a photo that you use them with. If you do buy these presets, thank you a lot. That's also one more thing. If you watch still here, which not a lot of people do, here is a little discount code. If you type in this code in the online shop, you will get an extra offer. And it's for the people that watch till here, you know, I would like to support the premium fans, the fans that watch till, till here. So if you would like to get a little discount, here is the code for you. I hope you enjoy shredding these presets and getting the most out of them. I hope every one of you gets extremely good results and I hope everyone starts taking better photos with this and makes better photos. Thank you a lot for being a part of this community and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Tomorrow is carnival, so something exciting is coming. Trash Boys, second episode. Bye. Peace.